So my name is Michelle Gunasekara and I am a clinical research fellow attached to the Nuffield Department of Population Health at the University of Oxford. Um, I am a nephrology registrar by training but I am currently working um, on cardiovascular trials um, and that's me. So many people will be familiar with the original ASCEND study which looked into the effects uh, of uh, randomization to aspirin uh, versus placebo and separated to omega-3 fatty acids versus placebo on atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So our, our study is a secondary analysis of that original study looking into what the effects of these two medications are on heart failure because heart failure is a condition that affects individuals with diabetes in particular and there are over 400 million people worldwide with diabetes um, and there are doubts and uncertainties uh, in the current research areas about what the true effects of aspirin and omega-3 fatty acids are on heart failure so we are hoping that this study will add further information to that mix. The ASCEND study was a double-blind placebo-controlled randomized trial which had a <clears throat> two by two factorial design um, and we randomized people to aspirin versus placebo and separately to omega-3 fatty acids versus placebo um, and that was a total of over 15,000 participants. <clears throat> we conducted our follow-up using male-based uh, follow-up methods using questionnaires every six months and importantly we also had access to routinely collected data which we used in outcome ascertainment which I think is an important method methodological piece of work that we did as well um, and in terms of selecting the omega-3 fatty acid dose <clears throat> at the time that ascend started one gram was the dose that was in use and we had evidence for uh, because I think studies like Jellis and Gissi Prevention uh, suggested that there could be a benefit of the one gram dose of omega-3 fatty acid um, and th which is the rationale for using it and unlike the newer studies which are looking at the effects of triglyceride lowering which was not a goal in a SEM. So the primary outcome of our analysis uh, is the effects of randomization to aspirin and separately of randomization to omega-3 fatty acids versus placebo on hospitalizations or death due to heart failure with our key secondary outcomes being the individual components of the primary outcome. And for the aspirin result, um, we've, we've shown that uh, randomization to aspirin does not have a significant effect um, on the primary outcome of death due to heart failure or hospitalizations for heart failure. The rate ratio was 0.98 and our confidence intervals extended down towards a proportional benefit of 17% uh, and up towards a proportional hazard of 17% um, and there were no significant effects on the secondary outcomes uh, of hospitalization for heart failure or death due to heart failure. For omega-3 fatty acids, um, there was again no significant effect uh, of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the the rate ratio for the primary outcome was 0.88 um, with confidence intervals here extending down towards a proportional 26% reduction and up towards a proportional 5% hazard. Um, so, so in summary there was no significant benefit but for omega-3 we've ruled out any hazard but there is a possibility of uh, benefit as much as 26% whereas for aspirin we can't fully rule out small to moderate uh, harm or benefit. I think now that there is a lot of uh, different studies looking into this uh, question of what the effects are on heart failure, the next step would probably be to undertake a more broad meta-analysis of all the data to try and see what the trend is based on all the different studies and whether it's confirmed uh, in a final uh, pooled result. Um, and for aspirin, we don't really have enough data because we've got um, this study result that's come out and then ASPRI, uh, which is a trial of older adults uh, looking into primary prevention, has published their results showing no significant effect. So those are the only two studies that are out there. And Hopefully, perhaps the ARRIVE trial uh, also does some analysis on heart failure outcomes. We may have enough data to look into the question and answer it more definitively so that we can move on to other areas. I think with aspirin currently the problem is that we don't have enough uh, benefit in the primary prevention setting that can counterbalance the increased risk of bleeding. So I think the key message here is that randomization to aspirin versus placebo did not uh, have any significant effect 
uh, on hospitalizations or death due to heart failure. But we couldn't rule out the possibility of a small to moderate uh, benefit or harm. Uh, and for, as for omega-3 fatty acids, uh, again, we did not find a significant effect uh, of uh, randomization to omega-3. Um, however, there are, we've ruled out the likelihood of harm, uh, but there is still the possibility of modest benefit that we haven't been able to exclude.